When you are fighting your neighbor, you slap. But when you tap, you tap friend. You slap your enemy. Then one man of God died. So we, we need to know whether someone behind the pulpit still has a truth. We, we need to investigate it quickly. Someone that said he got born again, his, his experience of salvation is that he got born again in his mother. For your information, um, the man in question was a soothsayer. And it was a spirit of divination that was at work. Welcome you back to Lajubong Wash TV. I don't have violence for you today. The home of religious gossip. And for you to believe in fine for Mohammed. What is happening in the Christian world? Join now to make sense with Lajubong. And the moment you know God is faithful and reliable, your faith grow spontaneously. With what we have seen now, you see, you begin to build that faith, you begin to increase in you, faith in God, with what we have seen today. If you are zero before, with what you are seeing now, you realize that you begin to have that, that zeal, desire, just naturally. The moment you realize that God is faithful, is reliable, is trustworthy, your faith grows spontaneously. And the moment you realize that God is reliable, you find yourself trusting Him. That's faith. That's his faith. I want to believe that. You are a faith man, you are a faith woman. Amen. If I'm talking, let us see your hand. You know what faith is now. Some will say, until I read Bible from Genesis to the end. Say, ah no, I have not been going to church, I don't have faith. I'm not a bishop, I'm not an evangelist. No, this is my first time coming to church. No, 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 I don't go to church. No, no, no. The issue of faith, faith is natural. Listen, you do not need greater faith. All you need faithfulness and trustworthiness of God. So we, we need to know whether someone behind the pulpit still has a truth. We, we need to investigate it quickly at this time. Someone that said he got born again, his, his experience of salvation is that he got born again in his mother's womb. Even, even is the mo they do good. They said that there are times when they are generous. They give, they give goat, give rice, and say, "Go and eat." Huh? What's that? Eat. <laughs> that was a person's salvation testimony that he got born again in the mother's womb. And someone, I don't know what is happening. Even if we were jinxed, if it's a charm, a spell. No spell is that strong. To make us change the goalpost of salvation because of a, a, a philanthropist. We no longer understand the, the basic tenets of our belief system. For your information, um, the man in question was a soothsayer. And it was a spirit of divination that was at work. Yes. I, I know this in the spirit. And I've seen many of his victims come to this place for deliverance. I have been in the struggle. Yes, I speak from the struggle. May the Lord give you understanding. Um, hallelujah. Okay, we are still in 1 Samuel chapter 28, verse 3. If you have not been in the struggle, you don't have a testimony. I have been in the struggle. We, we have been laboring to pull men out of the pit. I know how many cases of deliverance that we had to do. People jinxed under his spell. Meanwhile, those people appeared on, 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 the, on the TV. 
and then they run here for deliverance and we, we don't have what to there's no camera to capture the back end of the reality may you not be a tv man may your life not be on tv in the name of Jesus. We have been in this room. People that have been, you know, ladies that have been used to service that altar. There are also some shapings that will come when you submit yourself to the authority of the word of God. When you see a man that is careless, have you seen a man that is loose, careless? Such a man has not yet drank of the fountain of the word of God. Because part of what the word of God will make you become is that it will make you righteously strict to yourself. Make you what? Righteously strict. When you see a loose man, you know he has not drunk of truth is not in him. You mix with any kind of people. Say, oh, preachers with bad, bad, bad identity in the body of Christ, you are there. Here they are there. We can't say you no, know, you don't know the word of God. And I'm not saying you are not studying and you are not preaching. I'm saying you do not recognize the authority of the word of God to rule over your life. And these are two different things that you preach. Many people preach about giving, they don't pay tithe. And that's why when you see a pastor that is poor, that is destitute, before you you have compassion on him, you investigate his life. So when you find a loose man, it means he has not found the authority that is in the word of God to regulate him. That's why it's like he should be righteously strict to himself. He should be mercifully kind towards others. There's kindness flowing out of his vessel. It means he has found the word of God. And secretly pure toward God. Not 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 publicly pure or secretly pure there is something he has with god that he doesn't want to lose because of that he lines up not somebody trying to make you feel that okay we are holiness people that's flesh and darkness so if we are to be traditional way of praying the traditional way of praying is this in the name of jesus be he in the name of Jesus be here. How many people will I do that to? <laughs> Even the boy, in the name of Jesus, in the name of, you call it the name of Jesus, the name of the for 10 minutes, you get tired. Okay, let me try. In the name of Jesus, you are here. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, be here. <laughs> That ever just be he. The person talking now is Mr. TV Joshua, not Prophet TV Joshua. If it is Prophet, this one will f you fly. <laughs> the brother, you know your brother. He's just like you. Yeah. <laughs> He's not a prophet. He's not a prophet that talking now. <laughs> That's why I can touch you. In the name of Jesus, be he. In Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, be he. The method God has given me, look at it. <laughs> Can you see? It's just like that. I don't know how many. If you now say I should carry on, I let you know what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, 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 this crazy. It is light we carry, and once you light that candle, you just touch. The just in the name of Jesus once can do the whole. Are you with me? If I now begin to say. In the name of Jesus be he. In the name of Jesus be he. In the name of Jesus be he. It is only one that Jesus here. Out of the three times I call him. It 
unbelief that made us to call that name several hours. Are you, if you quite understand, let me see your hand. Now, in the name of Jesus, 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 be he. How many times? Five times. If that really come only once, Jesus said, all other four, because that come out of unbelief. It's just like a woman being, if I call my mommy, mommy here now, mommy, 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 by the time mommy here, you he only hear once and say, yes, what do you want? And he will not begin to answer me three times. Mommy, yes. Mommy, yes. Mommy, yes. Uh, mommy says there's something wrong. <laughs> so, this is just our challenges. We have a lot. When it comes to things of the Spirit, we are all baby. We that uh, into the work of God. There's so much fight in the church because we don't understand ourselves. The journey is so difficult, we don't understand. Even you don't even know whether this person is a man of God. You, man of God, you don't even know another man of God that is a true man of God. Because how difficult the job. If you study the writings of David, you will hear David say things like, I sought for your word and I found it. That guy is looking for principles that will govern his life. You there. That's why when he entered into adultery, he didn't need much pressure to know that he was wrong because he knows the standards of God. He went to bed. He went to bed. He went to bed. The prophet gave him three options of how he will solve his problem. He said, Let me go to God. Was willing to be humiliated today a pastor is caught in immorality we say stay on pulpit for two years build your relationship with your wife you have seen it if you go and do poster that members are going so he's more interested in being in the eyes of the people than having secret purity with god so how can he be a carrier of the presence of god How can you be a carrier of the person? He has not found the word of God. So he's a rascal. And a rascal cannot extend the frontiers of the kingdom of God. Even though he is gathering 2,000 people every day in Benin. There is no hope for their transformation. I've been in the ministry long enough to know the difference. Long enough. Started preaching at the age of 12. Yes, so I've been long, long enough, long enough. Even though those days on campus, you cannot be an ESCO member in 100 level. I was Bible study secretary in 100 level. That's when we started developing outlines. Developing belief, building belief systems for our people. We so spoke about sin that people were praying that I should commit fornication once so that they could come out. They waited till I got married. And they will wait till the last trumpet. Because I found the word of God. He said they are life to them that find it. And they are healing to the issues of their flesh. We have served God in that capacity. My clothes people make for me. This is the word of God that made me. I was in Lagos for seven years and the Holy Spirit said, don't buy a car. My salary for one month can buy a car. One month. If I collect salary, I can go to a car shop and buy a car. He said, don't buy a car. That's the word of God. The voice of God that came. 
I was using those yellow buses for seven years in Lagos. And at the end of seven years, when the test was come, he said, he said, I gave you this task so that you know that the life of a man doesn't consist in a possession. That's the word of God. That's what it does. So that is how I became a conservative. It is following his voice. <laughs> I'm gonna just get a little knowledge for you. Get what is happening in the Christian door. And guess what? I'm gonna bring the latest just for you in the church. What is happening? There is a particular thing that I train in a million now, but I'm still going to work on it before I bring that just for me to get you the authentic information. Experience the one for the King of Boys of the Africa. Make sure you follow me on my social media handles on Facebook at Live Watch TV and Live for Entertainment. Guess what? Say my name is Miguel. Ha 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 ha.